Hi, welcome to a Xenia demo presentation. Today we're going to talk a bit about uh, the Thunderbolt interface we uh, employ together with our cameras. A little bit of background. Uh, modern CMOS sensors are quite performant in terms of resolution and frame rate. So that means they come with a high bandwidth requirement on the streaming interface of the camera. Typically, those high-speed interfaces require a lot of accessories, frame grabber cards, host adapter cards, and bigger host systems to cope with those larger bandwidth requirements. And there are many different ways how to do this. We're gonna focus on a little Thunderbolt adapter box, which you see right here in front of me. We're streaming with PC Express into this little adapter. And since the Thunderbolt interface already includes PC Express, all we need to do is expose it for an access by the camera. So we use the stream directly from the camera, convert it into Thunderbolt, and then there is a single USB-C cable that is rated for 40 gigabits per second going into the host machine. A little exception to this, I'm using a Thunderbolt docking station here and the power supply for all the components that are part of the setup today. We can use this bandwidth for all sorts of different camera scenarios, including multi-camera systems. So just imagine those 32 gigabits that are available as your total bandwidth budget, and then just distribute it across multiple different cameras. This is also an option. So you could have one, two, three, four cameras, just as long as this bandwidth budget is maintained. To give you a simple example, right now we have 531 sensor, which is 20.3 megapixel, and this runs at slightly over 110 FPS at 10 bits. Streaming right here inside our Ximia Chem tool, which is our Vero application. So you can see the 110 FPS coming in from the camera at a full resolution of 4512 by 4512. There is another benefit to the Thunderbolt interface besides the ease of use and the sheer bandwidth, uh, which is a hot plug capability. Different than the native PCI Express, Thunderbolt allows devices to be unplugged and plugged back with a re-enumeration during the operation of the system. Any disconnect and reconnect of the setup will immediately result in a re-enumeration of the camera and it's ready to be used again. A short word about the cabling. So right now I use a simple copper cable in between the Thunderbolt adapter and the laptop system. Uh, but there are also different options out there. So if longer cable lengths are needed, there are optical and hybrid cables available as well. So distances of 10, 20, even 50 meters are available. Of course, there could be more power hungry setups that require more power than the Thunderbolt bus would allow. But there are also options for this. You can have the Thunderbolt adapter being powered by an external power supply. This gives you more power to be distributed to all the attached devices. As I mentioned before, it could be one camera, it could be multiple cameras, or even other devices that rely on the PCI Express interface. But it gives you also another benefit. So if the Thunderbolt adapter is powered by an external power supply, you can also daisy chain multiple Thunderbolt adapters together. So basically you can cascade the whole interface into different stages. And you might be thinking, okay, this is a neat setup, but does it even get more compact? Of course, we could take the same approach with the Thunderbolt adapter and already integrate it into the camera by fusing those two units. So imagine that instead of having the PC Express output on the camera, we would use Thunderbolt 3 directly. To summarize this demo presentation, fast sensors on a PC Express camera running through a Thunderbolt adapter into a Thunderbolt enabled laptop system. A lot of bandwidth, a lot of data into a portable system. Possible with Ximia. If you want to learn more about our detachable cameras or our PC Express cameras in general, please visit our website. If you want to see this system in action, please visit our booth at the Vision Show in Stuttgart in October this year. This will be one of the live demos exhibited in the demo corner of our booth. I'm happy to see you there.